In Season 4, Episode 5, Shiv received some strange personal information from Lucas Matson, the CEO of Goho. Logan Roy's interactions with Matson have shown him to be a shady, unreliable figure. However, following a brief encounter with Shiv, he has clearly attained an unanticipated level of strangeness. Just days after their business magnate father's passing, the Roy children traveled to Norway to assess the cultural compatibility of Waystar and Goho while attending the Swedish tech company's annual retreat. This is Roman and Kendall's first chance to show what kind of CEOs they will be after Logan and how they will deal with an erratic force like Matson. Matson seems genuine and laid back on the surface, but the additional scenes featuring him show he is far from a typical person. He gave Shiv, Roman, and Kendall virtually no time to mourn for their father, leaving Connor back home to plan Logan's funeral. Matson aimed to strike at their most vulnerable moment to get the deal done as quickly as possible, but was met with reluctance from Kendall and Roman to hand Waystar over so readily. Once Waystar's current CEOs met his manipulative tactics with resistance, he started making moves around them to secure the deal, one involving Shiv and a disturbing story about the frozen leaders of his blood. Matson and Kendall and Roman did not get along, and neither of them managed to conduct a satisfactory agreement with Matson. Shiv first agreed when Matson started pursuing him for information about Kendall and Roman's position on the deal and encouraged him to raise the stock price above $140 per share to achieve his goals. Shiv is the only living relative of Logan with whom Matson connects, and he even likens her to him after labeling her brothers a tribute band and an embarrassment. In a strange turn of events that started as flirtatious and ended up just plain disturbing, Matson told Shiv that he had a dilemma with one of his co-workers, Eva, with whom he was previously romantically involved. He had sent her leaders of his blood, frozen as bricks, in some outrageous attempt to get her attention or demonstrate his devotion to her. No matter how it's explained, Matson's actions were incredibly frightening and made him vulnerable now that Shiv knows it. Even though Matson is intoxicated, he is strategic and mysterious enough to believe that he had intentionally told Shiv to test Shiv's trustworthiness and ability for handling sensitive information. The blood story could be made up, it's possible that Matson fabricated the strange, incriminating tale about Shiv's blood to play tricks on her and see how she would respond and use the details. Matson might have questioned Shiv to see whether she was participating in that, as word of the entire meeting was already making its way to the media, with allegations that no one was getting along. Matson had to decide whether he could truly create an alliance with any of the Roys following the Waystar agreement, because Kendall and Roman weren't giving him much to work with. Even though Matson is a risky and dishonest individual, he would make a better friend than an opponent, particularly if the agreement is concluded. Telling Shiv the blood story is a win-win for Matson. He either forms a new loyalty with one of the Roys or exposes Shiv as someone he cannot depend on. Once the deal is finalized, he could fire Shiv immediately and make her look foolish if she decided to be a whistleblower and leak the story. If Shiv leaked the story and it turned out to be false, then she would lose all her power and leverage. Even if it were true, the optics would make it difficult for Shiv to gain momentum. If she knew this about Matson, why would she allow her brothers to make a deal with him? Further, why would she do anything to compromise her financial position, since half of her payout would be issued in Waystar Goho stock? Matson is a peculiar person who is also incredibly crafty and deceptive. When he is actually a cold-blooded wolf in sheep's clothing, he disguises himself as a typical, slightly silly, fun-loving guy. It seems unlikely that he would provide Shiv information that could endanger his career on their first meeting. Matson is too intelligent to act in such a stupid way, even while intoxicated. Even though the narrative is true, it's possible that Ebba and Matson are working together. Shiv would probably not go in the way of Ebba's plans to share that knowledge regarding Matson. Even though Shiv was informed by Matson, he probably wouldn't want to continue the conversation. Matson telling Shiv about his creepy bricks of blood stems from a hidden motivation to become closer to Shiv. Whether the story is made up or true, telling it to Shiv is a manipulative tactic to learn more about who she is and to form a close alliance potentially. Shiv would mutually benefit from this partnership since her CEO brothers have been increasingly cutting her out from Waystar's executive decisions.
Shiv understands the power of an alliance with Matson and is the last of the Roys to fight from a moral stance. Matson might be the smartest in the room, but Shiv shares a Machiavellian trait with him that appears to set up an unlikely alliance in succession.